Hi guys, welcome back to Kim's class. Today is the sixth and final lesson in our unit at school. We're gonna practice more talking about learning problems and strategies or tips to do better. Let's go ahead and look at today's lesson objectives. The first objective says, I know and can pronounce seven vocabulary words used to describe test taking tips or strategies. The second objective says, I can read and answer questions from an infographic about test taking tips and strategies. And the last objective says, I can use the vocabulary I learned in that infographic in sentences to correctly fill in a crossword puzzle. Sound fun? I think so. So let's talk about a few new words in this lesson. We've learned a couple words like underline and index cards, but we're going to learn just a few new words before we start looking at the reading or the infographic. So first we have the word directions. Directions is information before you begin an activity that tells you what to do. The next word I wanted to talk about is the word choices. So sometimes, even on my activities, we'll ask a question and give you choices, maybe two choices or four choices. Those would be possible answers. Now, a new word for you is the word eliminate. Let's try saying that one, eliminate. Eliminate means to take off. So sometimes you'll have four choices and you can eliminate certain choices because you know they're wrong. Eliminate. Another word that's new is the word paraphrase. Why don't you try it? Paraphrase. Paraphrase means to take sentences or a sentence and put it in your own words. Not word for word exact, but paraphrase in your own words. So those are some new words that we're going to learn in this lesson. And you're going to need them so that you can understand the infographic you're about to see. So on your screen, you see what we call an infographic or a picture with information. It's not a paragraph. And actually, if you looked carefully, you would see that it's a list. Remember we talked about the word list earlier in the unit. So up above you see a list of test taking tips. Now the word tips is the same as strategy. We've been talking about strategies and now I'm going to give you a different word which is tips. So. Here you see eight test taking tips. Have you ever taken a test and been nervous or didn't feel you would do well? Well, this might help you on your next test. Let's go ahead. I'm going to read these test taking tips for you and I'd like you to follow along. Test taking tips. Number one, read all directions carefully. Number two, read all questions 
carefully. Number three, be sure you know what is being asked. Number four, look at all the choices before you answer. Number five, eliminate answers you know are wrong. Number six, paraphrase the questions. Number seven, think carefully. And number eight, check your work. And of course, it's not on the list, but always do your best. So now what I'd like you to do, pause the video, select the answer you think is correct, and then turn the video back on and I'll give you the answers. Go ahead and pause your video now. All right, class, let's go ahead and look at the answers. Number one, which tip tells you to look at all the possible answers first? The answer is C, tip four. Number two, which tip tells you to try your hardest. Now that was a tricky one because it wasn't a tip. It was just writing on the bottom. So the correct answer for that one would be C, none. Number three, which tip tells you to make sure you understand, not just read, the question? The answer for that one is B, tip three. Number four, which tip tells you to eliminate all the answers you know are incorrect? The answer for that one is C, tip five. And the last question, which tip tells you to put the question in your own words? The answer to that one is C, tip six. All right, I hope you did great on that. I'm sure you did. So for this next activity, I thought we'd have a little fun and do a crossword puzzle using the vocabulary words on the previous infographic. So how a crossword works is you would have letters that go down and letters that go across. You need to match the number with the boxes in the crossword. So for example, in the place that says down, we have a number one. And it says, be sure and blank what the question is asking. Be sure and understand what the question is asking. So I know the correct answer is understand. I'm going to write the word understand in the boxes that are going down, starting with the box number one. Got it? I think you do. Go ahead and do your crossword puzzle, pause the video while you're doing the puzzle, and then you can turn the video back on and see how you did. Go ahead and pause the video now. All right, class, let's see how we did. Number one was be sure and understand what the question is asking. Number two down says read all of the directions and questions carefully. 
Number four, check your work. Number six, eliminate answers you know are wrong. Now let's see how we did going across. Number three, across, think carefully. Number five, across, paraphrase the questions. Number seven, across, Look at all the choices before you answer. Did you have a little fun with that crossword puzzle? I hope so. Let's go ahead and look at the lesson objectives for today and see how we did. Do you know and can you pronounce seven vocabulary words used to describe test taking tips? or strategies? I think you do. Can you read and answer questions from an infographic about test taking tips and strategies? We did that as well. And the last objective, can you use the vocabulary that you learned in the infograph in sentences to correctly fill in a crossword puzzle? I know you can. So class, that's the end of today's lesson. But before you go, I'd like you to do four things for me. Would that be all right? The first thing I'd like you to do is to hit the like button below. The second thing I'd like you to do is to subscribe to this YouTube channel. That way, you can be notified every time I post new videos. The third thing, if you think that someone else you know might enjoy this lesson as much as I hope you did, share it with them. And the last thing, in the comment section below, I'd like you to write me two sentences. The first sentence can be about a study problem you have. Then, using some of the tips that you've learned in today's lesson, write what you could do to overcome that problem. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye, and I'd like to thank you for allowing me to come on this journey with you to learn English. Goodbye for now. I hope to see you soon.